friends, it's Miss Patty at the museum again, and it's Thursday, so that means it's Fueled for Adventure Day. We want to thank St. Dominic for giving us this opportunity to share snack time with you. So this is a snack that I had on a very special vacation one time. I got to go to Australia one summer. Have you ever been to Australia? or maybe taking a fun summer vacation. I hope you get to think about taking a fun summer vacation soon. So on my summer vacation to Australia, there was a snack called fairy bread. Fairies can be in your garden or fairies could be in a storybook. So this fairy bread Almost anyone can make. It's very easy. So you can take a piece of bread. You can toast it if you want, or you don't have to. And then you take a little bit of butter, not a lot. If you're using a sharp knife, you'll want to get help from a grown-up, but I'm using a plastic one. You could also use a spoon. I'm going to spread a little bit of butter on one side and I'm going to spread a little bit of butter on the other side. You don't need a lot. Like when you're using glue, dot, 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 not a lot. We'll just use a little bit. And now is rainbow sprinkles. What other foods can you eat rainbow sprinkles on? I like to put sprinkles on ice cream and cupcakes and pancakes. I think I might need a second sprinkle today. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. There we go. Now, remember, when you are getting ready to make your snack, and when you're done eating your snack, you're going to want to wash your hands. And all you have to do is take a bite. 